Okay, let's look at a classic Faraday's law, Lenz's law uh, experiment whereby we drop a magnet down through a conducting tube and we want to know what happens to the potential difference in, in that tube as a result. Okay, well, first of all, Faraday's law. Well, we know that Faraday's law tells us that the EMF is equal to the rate of flux linkage. Now, what on earth does that mean? Well, it means it's, it's equal to the rate at which those flux lines get cut. So what we need is we need, a, we need a magnet. Here's our magnet here with our flux lines drawn on. Okay, so we've got our north and our south. So you can see the field lines at the bottom there are pointing outwards. Field lines at the top are pointing inwards. Now initially, before we drop this, let's imagine it's just a very, very long way away, and the field lines are not, the field lines of the magnet are nowhere near this conducting tube. Therefore, we start at zero, nice and easy. And what happens? Well, it starts to fall. And as it gets closer, for the very first time, here we go, now field lines are starting to be cut. Okay? But there's not many field lines being cut because it's only just getting to the tube. This value starts to increase like that. Okay, and it starts to move faster. Now, as it gets to about here, for the very first time now, not only are the field lines coming outwards, so outwards away from the north, okay, they are cutting the tube, but also at the very top here, the south field lines, so the ones nearest to the south end, they're, well, they're coming inwards, and they're giving conflicting pushes, uh, if you like, conflicting EMFs to the electrons. So electrons at the bottom here have been pushed one way by this magnet, the field lines coming out, and at the top they've been pushed the opposite way. So what happens is the overall EMF across the tube starts to decrease. And what it does, it decreases and continues to decrease until when you're exactly halfway here, half the electrons, so the electrons in this half of the wire, of the tube rather, are being pushed outwards, being pushed that way, by the magnetic field. The electrons in the top are being pushed the opposite way, exactly the opposite way, by the south field, pushing inwards that way, which means they balance and we get back to zero. As we can continue down through the tube, now the south is winning, which means, oops, sorry, the field lines pushing inwards have got more of the tube that they can interact with, therefore they start to win, so we actually get the EMF goes the other way. Also, because this is dropping, if it starts at zero, velocity of zero, as it's dropping, it's accelerating, which means Two things. One is that it's cutting through field lines much quicker, which means the EMF is going to be greater, so we get a peak that's much lower down here. But also, it passes through the bottom half of the tube much faster than it passed through the top, which means this time here is much smaller than this time here. It's interesting here to note that the area of this one and this one should be identical as they relate to the number of field lines in total that have been cut. Something else is quite interesting here as well is that as this drops through, we know it, in, it, it induces an EMF in this tube here. Because this tube is made of copper, there will be a current inside this tube. And that current will generate its own magnetic field. And the magnetic field generated by this, within this tube will directly oppose the magnetic field that is making it. And that's Lenz's law, and that's the addition of this negative here. Lenz's law tells us, very like air resistance, the faster this falls down through here, the bigger the current here will be, which means the bigger the magnetic field induced within that tube will be, which means the bigger the, the, uh, the, the, the retarding effect on the magnet will be, okay, as it drops. So it reaches something like terminal velocity, uh, well, it is terminal velocity, but it reaches it not because of air resistance, but because of the Lenz's law effect. Once it drops out the bottom here, it continues on, and the magnetic field lines now are no longer cutting this, so we go back to zero. Okay, and that is a classic dropping a magnet through a conducting tube question.